while the crew was filming 1,000 pounds, an argument broke out between Tammy Sladden, Amy Sladden, and Amanda Halterman, causing the sisters to take a break from filming. According to The Sun, during a trip to Florida to film the new season of the TLC series, a sibling fight broke out between sisters Tammy Sladden, Amy Sladden, and Tammy and Amy's half-sister Amanda Halterman, which eventually escalated into violence. Tammy, Amy, and Amanda's brother, Chris Combs, was also reportedly not involved in the fight, a source told the paper. The film crew was on set but their attitude was unpleasant to work with. A friend of Tammy's claimed the argument turned violent and the family was in serious trouble. Due to the intensity of the sisters' interactions on set, the show's team will reportedly pause filming for six to eight weeks to allow the cast enough time to recover from the brawl. Producers initially decided to fly the cast to Florida so the family could stay together. Now that Tammy had lost enough weight to travel comfortably without major issues. The Florida getaway came just weeks after the sudden death of Tammy's husband, Caleb Willingham. As the Ashley reported earlier this month, Caleb passed away just days after his 40th birthday. Tammy reportedly split from Caleb earlier this year, but the 36-year-old recently told her TikTok followers that she had went through stages of grief following Caleb's death. Yes, we had our problems, but I loved the man and I still do, she said. I miss him like crazy. 1,000 pounds. Sisters star Tammy Slatten releases tearful video about late husband Caleb Willingham. We had our problems, but I loved the man 1,000 pounds. Sister's uncomfortable visit to nutritionist reveals strange reason for drinking up to 12 cans of soda a day losing weight is not an easy subject or a long journey. But having someone by your side as you go through this struggle can really drive and motivate you. In this unique case, sisters Amy and Tammy from Kentucky weigh just over 1,000 pounds. 453.5 kilograms, and are now seeking professional help to turn their lives around with 1,000 pounds. Amy and Tammy made an eight-hour trip to Atlanta to meet with doctors and experts about their weight loss journey. Sisters After an uncomfortable car ride, familiar meetings, and a bizarre hospital stay, the sisters were ready to seek professional help. During the consultation, drive. Proctor told the women that they needed to lose weight together to undergo weight loss surgery and referred them to a nutritionist. The sisters then met with Taylor, the show's nutritionist, who asked them about their diet, but that was just the beginning of the problems she discovered. Floss, also known as cotton candy, baked chicken, pork chops, beef, mashed potatoes, tacos, slooger mix. Pasta, peanut butter, barbecue sauce, Chinese food, snack cakes, pizza rolls, steak, potato chips, baked spam, and more. It's all on the list. I've heard too many calories, too many carbs, too much fat, too much food overall, so I have a lot of work to do, Taylor replied. Their answers worried Taylor, but what really shocked her was their confession about what they drink every day. Amy and Tammy told Taylor that they don't drink water at all. A heartbreaking moment, 1,000 pound sisters women prepare to leave home for first time in six years instead, she explained that soda was substituted to quench her thirst, drinking up to 12 cans a day. When we were little, my mom told me that if you eat sugar, drinking a diet soda afterwards will neutralize the sugar, Amy said. Do you think that's true? Taylor responded. Amy replied, I did it as a kid. In an on-camera post, the nutritionist explained why no one should be drinking 8 to 12 sodas a day. Just because it's liquid doesn't mean it's hydrating or good for you. She said. There's a lot of stuff in these diet sodas that can dehydrate you and definitely lead to poor nutrition and overall poor health. Before her visit, 
Tammy admitted she was nervous about the nutritionist's visit and the possible outcomes. I'm a little nervous about meeting a nutritionist, she told the camera. If you're used to fat and salt, it can be scary. Amy clearly understood these feelings, too, as she was none too pleased when the nutritionist told the women they needed to cut their intake down to one can a day. No, I can't hear you, I can't hear you, she replied.